I'm going for the bottom left. If it's not what I want. Okay, which one? Middle. Yay, thank you. You're welcome. Yep. Go swap. Why is there? Ah, that was far. Are you planning on copying my team entirely, Jackson? No. Good. Hopefully. Because I, I want a headless guy now. Who? Who's that? I can't see because it's blurred out and I'm in a bad angle. Okay. I can be. I. I happened. I happened to get the fight out on my first try going through. I was like. I'll stick with it, whatever. I prefer normal. Simply because of the. Yeah. And it doesn't require too much energy, so you can use it over and over. Yeah. So you can use it over and over without wasting. without having to go for weaker moves. Then it gets quickness okay. and, and whatnot. Insane. And then all that, that reflection, yeah. That's just what I go for. I'm taking him to the high stages. Yeah. Go for the high stage, you reckon you can deal with it easily. Because he'll get a lot of XP even if he dies. Yep. Because he'll get a lot of XP even, even though he'll die. No one that many. Well, they'll probably get it up to about 28 ish. Grind has a twenty p grind and pop rise with a twenty or twenty five percent chance to give the person a head attack. For whatever reason. It, d it makes little difference when you have pulverize because it's a hundred damage raw. So it's just like whatever at that point. It makes no difference. Mm. Yes, you will. Yeah. It's still a lot of XP for him. So he's still going to need like a whole lot. It's not as much. Could throw a single point. Bye, Dad. You won't be staying up for later, dear friend. Okay. Because we have to try and get you back into a decent routine before school starts. Okay.
The author wasn't wrong. I know it's me. The school finally caught the attention of scientist Matt Peter Hyde Jordan. I know it was me. I killed you. With Orson's permission, he took it to the Greenland Fisheries Research Institute in Copenhagen for test. And after comparing it to the skulls of... I had a 200 damage to your face, man. ...suggested it might have been a hybrid of a species, a Norwegian. It's not well confirmed by genetic studies, proving that the animal possessed half the species. He shared his family with a female bottom-nosed dolphin named Punahili. They are quite the unlikely couple, given that false killer whales often reach 14 feet in length and hit the scale of the 2,000 pounds, while bottom-nosed dolphins rarely reach 6 feet and 4 feet. So it was really quite a surprise to their keepers when they gave birth to Tiki Mairi, the world's first and probably only wolf head. The Tiki Malu's features combine both species of animals to birth. Resembles a false killer whale with the tip of the nose and their fin looks like a dolphin. However, her coloring is darker than a dolphin's. Although hybrids like Kiki Malu normally have birth defects and don't live that long, she defied odds and grew to maturity. She even at separate phases gave birth to two wolf and cats. They did not do that, however, making Kiki Malu the only living wolf in the world. Number six, the Savannah Cat. Then is a cat, not a cat. Known as a savannah cat, according to people who have had the pleasure of owning one, these cats are very loyal, follow you around the house, can even be trained to walk in a leash and even play fetch. In other words, they're more like dogs rather than cats. But no, it's not because they were the result of a mad scientist experiment and how they interbreed cats and dogs. That's more of a idea. It was rather the unexpected result of making a wild cat with a domestic. They are also the largest domesticated cat breeds, but are quite light for their size, only weighing about 6 feet. They became popular among cat breeders during the late 1990s after the first successful cross breeding done by Jim Frank and Chris Wood. Number 5. The Jag Lion. While most of the hybrid animals on this list were intentionally crossbred, some of them happened quite unexpectedly, which actually makes for a pretty good story. The next amazing hybrid on our list proves that no matter what you do to prevent it, true love finds a way. At the Bear Creek Sanctuary in Ontario, Canada, lives Bianco, a male jaguar, and Lola, a lion. They've been practically together since birth, as they were brought to the sanctuary as cows just a few years apart. As they grew up and reached mating age, great care was taken in the making sure that they didn't sleep in the same case. Although they still stayed in the same no, everybody was surprised when Lola exhibited signs that she was indeed pregnant. Even practically together from birth, they were brought to the sanctuary. 
sanctuary of cubs just a few years apart. As they grew up and reached many...
Hmm. I'm in the place of recording a YouTube video, Jackson. Yeah. I'm not gonna say, I'm not gonna say it to I'm, I'm gonna put it on Reddit. Like saying I saying look at this or whatever. Thank you. 
Reslick them. Reslick, reslick. I think there's nothing there now. Maybe. Yeah. No, I think it was over back.
Thank you. 